Poland Daily Business Edition. Tonight, our guest is Marcin Roszkowski of Jagiellonian Institute. Sir, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. And uh, this is the day of the year, which is totally different than a couple of days ago. Should we decide that we need to fix something in the United States or have some meeting, we just go online and next day we can fly because the Poland since uh, November 11th is part of visa waiver program. We waited for this as Polish citizens about 30 years. We got it and what the consequences will be. Quite a surprise. We were waiting for this decision like 30 years plus. So this is good that this has finally uh, came true. But generally, yes, good. We can uh, travel to the United States without visa. Um, uh, we didn't have to uh, represent the reciprocity and uh, introduce visa to American citizens because it was taking so so, so long. But um, uh, uh, frankly, uh, it's a good uh, a good move. Uh, probably for some of Polish businesses, it, it will be uh, more flexible to go to the United States and um, uh, arrange uh, deals there. But generally, uh, the threat uh, that Polish citizens will go to uh, United States to work uh, as uh, uh, as 30 years ago, uh, it's not true. We are a member of European Union, and probably uh, there are uh, better opportunities working opportunities in European countries and they are closer uh, than the United States. So traveling and also some business uh, arrangement, but generally I, I do not feel that uh, Polish uh, citizens will one day all go to the United States to work. Well, when we see the uh, exchange rate between Poland and the United States, <coughs> or the, uh, we see that it's uh, in the lower <coughs> st uh, region. It, I mean that mutual trade between Poland and the United States can be uh, <coughs> order of magnitude greater than it is now. Of course, the level is uh, uh, not significant. The uh, United States is not our main trading uh, uh, partner. Uh, especially we are concentrating on energy sector and uh, uh, defense, and these two are uh, pushing the, um, the figures up. And uh, there are, there's a space to, 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 to for improvement. So generally, yes, the opportunities are there. Opportunities are there. We are buying more and more energy uh, products from United but States. Also, the United States has um, uh, decided that uh, Central European uh, uh, countries are uh, important due to uh, strategic uh, reasons. So you can see how the uh, United States defense activities uh, are uh, 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 developing here. And also energy uh, security and energy uh, uh, sources are being brought uh, to, these, to our countries um, uh, from the United States. We are developing the infrastructure for importing LNG and along with uh, security issues and energy issues, um, other companies are uh, putting uh, their, uh, building their headquarters in, uh, for example, in Warsaw, like uh, investment banks. So um, that's a first step. Let's Is say. it? first step and very welcome to one. We will see whether the changes in politics of the United States. Let's assume that uh, Mr. Donald Trump will not win the next election. Can we expect a rapid turn and moving out I don't of think this so, because infrastructure you, you could, from Poland? You could see the uh, change, the shift in uh, uh, US uh, policy uh, in the last two years of uh, President Obama. So uh, generally, uh, whoever is uh, the next president uh, after November next year I uh, will manage with the new administration I think the um, the uh, the the aim is uh, will not change um, probably the people representing uh, could but generally uh, um, I think the the, the the target the aim is is the same to, to, to provide security in the region and also develop uh, uh, bilateral relations you, you see how, how the you can see it through the through other sector that are developing like investment banking, and other investments uh, uh, besides uh, security and uh, the defense and uh, energy. There are also, just moving away from this high level of policy, um, uh, technologies and areas when, where we can work very closely, <coughs> for example, the offshore 
wind and this famous GE turbine that has delivers 11 megawatts power. Uh, that's brand new product. Of installed capacity, yes. yes. Uh, w the energy sector needs to be generally rebuilt in Poland uh, and hundreds of billions of, of zloty uh, will be uh, spent on uh, capexes uh, uh, within next 10, 15 years. Offshore is one of the aims that I think I feel also that is, there is a consensus in Poland to, 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 to have it. Uh, the capacity for uh, offshore is 10 uh, gigawatts plus so generally um, the, the, the opportunity is there um, also the technologies are uh, changing uh, rapidly uh, they are um, becoming cheaper and cheaper so generally offshore is one of the solutions for um, the Polish energy sector not not only because they are there's no one good option for the energy sector but the coal phasing out is there and then one of the options is um, uh, offshore also there is no um, the, the, the social uh, attitude to, to the way it's um, offshore is uh, pretty uh, good. There are not uh, there, there are not nobody not many will protest that. Uh, no, not not uh, not nobody, but generally uh, some of the fishermen. But generally, uh, the, the tension is lower, um, lower, for example, than in uh, case of the uh, onshore wind. And again, the opportunities <coughs> are. But also, great. large PVEs uh, will be uh, developing. Uh, in Poland uh, rapidly because uh, the, 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 there will be a gap in uh, energy generation um, in mid of uh, 30s uh, because the lignite plants, so for example, in Bełchatów, in Turów, uh, will be uh, running out of lignite. And also we do not have the coal, uh, uh, to the, the, the hard coal to, uh, uh, to, for our plants because uh, it's being, it has been, uh, it is being developed and uh, the, the production production drops 4% annually, so generally uh, also there is an incentive to import the um, uh, hard coal in large quantities. It's over 40% of imported coal already, so generally there is no sense in uh, building uh, new um, coal fire plants. Nuclear ones is the option. The previous government, the one that um, ruled <coughs> since 2015, had the plans for the cooperation with the United States in the area of nuclear energy. Uh, will that project be followed up in it's, the next government? It's actually a decision uh, whether the, uh, the nuclear lobby in the United States uh, convinced, uh, will convince uh, its president to support the, these kinds of project, projects. Because, because the finances it's, should it's, go from states. Uh, generally, it's, it's expensive. We do not have the cash for the nuclear option, let's say. Um, uh, it's, the situation is different when you uh, decide how to uh, um, approach the uh, small Smaller scale uh, plants, modular or uh, others, but it's on. It will take like six years plus to develop these technologies. The older technologies that uh, are uh, building, being built, like Free Plus, uh, they are only they are only built in uh, Russia, India, China, and yeah, these are not the. Uh, technology providers we desire. The one that we want. Sir, thank you very much for thank this uh, conversation. And that was it for tonight's Poland Daily Business.